Daybreak's Tina Shively has been digging into this part of the story overnight. She's at her breaking news desk with what she's found so far. Tina? Well, Corey, as we heard, the Waco Police Department was on scene there last night, aware of that meeting turned deadly. But they're not the only agency aware of those five groups that police say are, were involved in last night's brawl. Some national agencies are aware as well. They have been watching them very closely and say they are very dangerous. Now, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms estimates there are approximately 300 one percenter OMGs or outlaw motorcycle gangs in the U.S. And one of the groups involved in the brawl last night, the Banditos, are one of those groups. Now, the ATF defines one percenters as any group of motorcyclists who have voluntarily made a commitment to band together to abide by their organization's rules enforced by violence and who engage in activities that bring them and their club into repeated and serious conflict with society and the law. The Department of Justice also knows about these groups. They say the Banditos is the second largest OMG in the U.S., but that their membership is not limited to the states. The DOJ believes their membership is as high as 2,500 people in the U.S. and 12 other countries. They say the group's growing criminal threat involves the distribution of cocaine, marijuana, and methamphetamines. A closer to home, the Department of Public Safety has defined the Banditos as a Tier 2 gang. I'll tell you what that means and exactly where DPS says they are present in Texas coming up next half hour. Corey, back to you. Okay. Tina, thank you very much for that.